George County is getting quite the midseason boost in a week six matchup versus the return of QB1 four-star recruit Deuce Knight. Notre Dame commit finally back after sending out three games following his reverse transfer from Lipscomb Academy in Tennessee back to George County. Rebels couldn't get anything going on first possession, but Tigers quickly get the ball back, but not as quickly as the Rebels get it back. Hattiesburg QB Tony Vance throws the ball downfield, but into the hands oh. of three-star defensive back Cole Bradley with the first turnover of the game. Three hype, why not? Yeah. But Deuce Knight receives the snap, places the rock into the hands of senior running back Kobe Street, and he goes to work right up the middle and doesn't go down without a fight. And it's good for a Rebel first down. Four star quarterback Knight back at it again with the ball, and he fakes the handoff, keeps it to the keeps the ball himself, and he got some wheels on, but the ball is stripped oh. by the Tigers, John Traven, and the purple and gold pick it up, but the Rebels don't let him go much further than that, to say the least but ultimately possession is back with the Tigers. And then QB Tony Vance with the ball, and he hands it to Travez Wade, and he's absolutely stuffed by the Rebel defense, which they do all night long, might I add. Tigers are forced to punt the ball. It's up, up, and away. And GC's Jamarian Odom is at the right place. At Mar the right Marlon Odom. Marlon Odom at the right place at the right time, finds a hole and quickly goes right, dances down the sideline, slowly tippy toes, giving the Rebels great field possession. Knight receives some snack, hooks up with his junior running back, Braden Gosher, Goche. He goes left and it was right move, puts it into sports mode. No one's coming close to the man. Going, going, taking it to the house. Touchdown, Green County. The Reds. George County. George County. <laughs> wow, my brain. The Reds are hype as they should be, trying to keep that momentum going. And it does as the Tigers turn it over on die, on downs. The man Deuce Knight with the ball. Fakes the handoff again, and this time takes it left. He's got some speed. See Two plus one. He's gone all the way to the corner of the Rebel end zone. Crowd goes wild, so loud the Rebels weren't even aware it was ultimately oh, called no. back. But oh, goodness gracious, what a play by the four star. But looky here, same song, different verse, ball back to the Tigers. Their QB, who's also number two, acts like he's going to throw the ball, keeps him to himself, goes up the middle, sees that clear path, and the Rebels are unable to catch him. And he takes it to the house for six, but not so fast. It's also called back. Yellow flag and the still score remains 7 to 0. And speaking of the same things, the battle stays tight and ends up being 28 all after four. But ultimately, the Tigers come out on top in mm. overtime with a final score of 34 to 28. And both teams are now 4 and 2.